Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Scott Gaskins will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. That Career ERA just under base. four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every that five days, go. throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Number 23 is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for route number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the part. Ready now for the Marlins. How Jimmy Garcia. Stop. Jimmy Garcia. The 1-1. Skied into straightaway right. Number 23 will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Marlins leave one. They lead it three to nothing. Ready now, number 23. He's ready for his first A B here in this one. From the belt, the pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground a second. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. That's not the guy you're going to see doubled off very often, so that was a quick turn at second base. Good transfer and a strong throw. Leading off to the red, the right fielder, number 23. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive to left. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see, he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Stepping in, Kurt Kanoy is getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Kanoy. The 1-1. One, one. There goes the runner. Strike called. Now the throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, when a stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. The one two is a swing and a miss at strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now batting, Richard Fung. Second baseman, Richard. The one two. Line to the right side. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. At the plate, Antonio Chavez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Chavez. From the belt, the pitch. 
Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Manual just to the left of the mound. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Red strand a couple. They're down four nothing. At the plate, Jamie Manzanillo. He flew out in his last at bat. The second baseman, Jamie. The wind up and the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 23 is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Digging in, number 23. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard hit ball to short. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. Well, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, News flash. You got no wheels. Fighter. Runner goes for third to short. Scooped up to second for oh. one. On to first, oh, but not good. in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to here come now, through and lift your team to victory. Afternoon. He was certainly First, a big factor big here. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game two of the NLDS between the Cincinnati Reds and the Miami Marlins. Oliver Aaron is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So coming to the plate, Dave Jansen. He's put on quite a hitting performance over the last month, batting over 300. So he's certainly making a case for a batting title as the season wears down. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and two left we move ahead to the top of the second now the Marlins on top three to nothing so stepping in number 23 will take his first tax here from 
from the belt. The pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. And this one is gone. A home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. His first homer so far in the series as the Reds have pulled back to even now three apiece. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. And he did right there. Now at the plate, number 23. He went number deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, and that last at-bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Hit sharply on the ground. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. And so with two away now, let's give you another look at our playoff bracket as you see what could lie. Stepping up to the plate, number 23, number 23 comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit back up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Into the box now, oh, Abraham Delgadio. And we'll see what he can do here with a Abraham. pair of runners on base Delgadio. and two gone here in the fifth. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nine. Stepping into the box, Jose Avilas. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Comes set, the 0 1. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Number 23 is there, and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Number 23 will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second Number inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single, three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Ready now for that. another shot now. Abraham, Abraham Delgadio. Two outs Delgadio. and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. He's running, and he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run, the inning is over. So it's a run on. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Wayne Blackley will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Lane Rivera will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. 
And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. Cincinnati have evened up this series at one game apiece. Tommy Hartley the is the winning pitcher of record. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the National League Division Series between the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. It's been a good series so far as these two teams have split the first. Batting seven, the right fielder, number 23. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air out to center field. Joyal is under this one. And that's out number two. Stepping into the box, Andres Manuel. The third baseman, Andres Manuel. The 2 1 home. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Way up into the moon deck and out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second home run of the series, as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Coming to the plate now, now number, number 23. He's 0 for 1 thus far. <laughs> He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And they take the lead. It's gone. Two run shot to straightaway center. His second home run of the series. And it stakes the Reds to a four to two lead. That's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heat. 
leading off the inning, Brian Duvall, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from... Number 23 will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Reds, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Winston Valenzuela will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Lane Rivera. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. are made in the postseason and he was at least the hero in this one he's our tops player of the game yeah no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory he was certainly a big factor here and it was pretty cool to see the final line score for our ball MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the National League Division Series between the Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, because this is a five-game series, this is an elimination game. I think that any time a team's season is on the line, they have to play like it. I think they'll be really aggressive and try to force the other team into some mistakes. If they play well, all of a sudden this series is all tied up and we'll have a Game 5 to look forward to. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Jason Wesley will be on the mound for Game 4. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five That's like he good. has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Rob Griffith. Oh, and one count and the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. 
On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Garrett Daniels, and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Heading out towards shallow right. Number 23 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Marlins forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Marlins one and the Reds nothing. Stepping up now, number 23. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number 23. Now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Digging in to try it again. Franz Griffith 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Griffith. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins three and the Reds two. Standing in, number 23. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Number 23. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His third home run of this series as the Reds have pulled back to even now three apiece. So there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Digging in once again, How number 23 number comes 23. in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Runners off for second. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Joyal is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. advice to them is to enjoy this moment celebrate with teammates and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS they've wet their beaks with this postseason success now they want some more not a lot of runs put on the board in this one but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference he's the tops player of the game well the numbers don't just jump out at you but his lone hit was a really important one and sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero and he did just that for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and our hard-working crew I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been the National League Division Series The final line score for our ball.